this hurts the narcissist the most. The narcissist thinks they're the best. They think they're an excellent person. They think there's nothing they need to change to improve. They're already complete. They're a finished product. They're perfect as they are. Which is why they're so arrogant. They've been insulted many times already. So they're already expecting you to talk about them. Because they've been doing this for a very long time. They're used to people talking bad about them. They're used to people wanting to get revenge. But this isn't just a role they stepped into with you. They've always been this way. So they understand the consequences of their actions. But their past experiences have made them strong enough to withstand adverse conditions. It's made them more able to endure hardship and pain. So they're able to deal with negative attention. And they actually like negative attention. It's just as good as something positive. Because it still revolves around them. It confirms that they're relevant. Because they're on someone else's mind. So they're still in control. If they can cause you to talk bad about them, it means they still have power. If you don't want to see them again, it still brings joy to them. Because they understand how emotions work. So it shows you're still invested in them, even when you're trying to get away. Because your actions are still the effect of something that they have caused. To really hurt the narcissist, they have to become irrelevant to you. You have to become indifferent to them. A lot of people will say that they're done with a the narcissist. They will say that they don't want anything to do with them. When that comment isn't called for, it's unnecessary. Because then you're still commenting to a narcissist. You're still responding to them because they're still attached to you emotionally, which means they still have control over your emotions. As long as you still have to express how you feel about them or what you would do if you saw them again, you're still showing them that you care. You're still showing them that they've had a strong effect on your mind to where you still have to comment on how you feel about them or what you wouldn't do for them anymore. But when you're really done with a narcissist and they're no longer relevant to you, you won't care about any of that. You won't even waste your time to comment on anything they've done or anything they're doing now because you don't care. You've moved on. And they know the difference between someone who is just saying they don't care and someone who has really moved on. If you're still arguing with a narcissist or trying to get them to see your side, it means you're still emotionally invested. It means you still care or that you're hurt as a result of their actions. When what you really need to do 
is you need to accept the outcome and then become indifferent to it because if you're still hurt by it it shows them that they're still relevant it still makes them feel good but when you become indifferent to everything they put you through that's when you begin to have an effect on the narcissist that's what hurts the narcissist the most but as long as you're still reacting to something they've said or done it tells them they still have an opening to come back to you and even if they've done too much to where there's no chance for them to come back as long as they can keep you in a state of torment that's good enough for them that's still a victory but when you are genuinely disconnected from the narcissist and you're not affected by them they can sense it they know when you're no longer bothered by them because then they've lost control of you mentally and emotionally but they don't see it as though you can freely disconnect on your own they see it as though if they're not in control of you somebody else must be in control of you because they see it as though they put you in that condition they put you in that state of being so for you to disconnect from them they see it as though you must have found someone who is better than them at this game because they don't see it as though you can move on and heal on your own and they're very competitive so this is what's going on in the narcissist's mind they don't realize that you just figure them out and no longer want anything to do with them but when you've healed and you've moved on from them they immediately sense it they can no longer cause you to react to them because now you're just sitting back and laughing at their attempts to hurt you which is now hurting them whenever you take away a narcissist's opportunity to hurt you it will hurt them it will cause a narcissistic injury because now you no longer care about what they think you know they're not special and when you make that known to them and you laugh they can feel the emotions behind your words they can tell that you really mean it or if you're still angry and dissatisfied after what they put you through they know the difference when you're no longer affected by the narcissist it's because you're in a state of indifference you don't take them seriously you just see them as a joke and when you do that it really gets to them it hurts them it's only when you take them seriously and you think they're relevant that they still have a hold on you but when you see them as a joke and you don't take them seriously they sense it and many of them will just leave you alone because they want everything to revolve around them they want to be special and important 
they want to be the center of attention. But if you're just laughing at them, because you know they're not really about anything, they don't like it, it eats away at them. Which is why you need to get to this point where you no longer take them seriously, where you no longer value what they say to you. Where you no longer believe that they're going to do what they say they're going to do. Where you no longer trust them. Because at that point, you're affecting them more than they're affecting you. Which is why most of them won't stick around after that. Because they can no longer affect you. They can no longer have control over you. Which means that you have won. And they have lost. Because you no longer care about them. You no longer care about what they're doing. You're no longer angry, upset or disappointed. You're indifferent to the narcissist. You no longer believe in them. You no longer have any hope. Because you accept that you were dealing with a fraud. Someone who is just mirroring you. Someone who is just imitating things that you were interested in. Things that helped you to sustain yourself. They just reflected it back to you. So recognize those qualities within yourself. Recognize what you have to offer. Because that is another thing that hurts the narcissist. They hate it when you recognize your own worth. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.